Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are going to see how we can take a backup of our exchange server with Windows Server Backup. In order to perform a backup for your exchange server you should have a proper administrative right to perform the backup and a Windows Server Backup feature should be installed locally on your exchange server. So let's proceed and see how we can perform a backup of our exchange server 2016. So right now we are on our exchange server. Before moving ahead for taking a backup of our server, I want to show you the drives. The previous video we have created these two drives and we have moved our log files and data files to these drives. So I have renamed this volume as a data. Here we have a EDB files like you can see the EDB files and if you see the properties of EDB files, now it is 264 MB and in the log file I have moved the log file to this folder. So now both the volumes have a exchange data. Now the default data has been moved to the data drive F and the log files are moved to the G drive. I also added a new volume that is a backup volume and that is empty right now. So we are planning to backup our exchange data to this volume. As I said like Windows Server backup should be installed. If you see here in a tools uh, you will see the Windows Server Backup but if you will open this Windows Server Backup you will find you cannot initiate a backup right now from here so what you have to do you have to install the Windows Server Backup feature so that you can proceed with it let's close this and install our Windows Server Backup in order to install the Windows Server Backup we have to run this command like install Windows feature Windows Server Backup. Now it's collecting data and starting the installation of Windows Server Backup. Now the Windows Server Backup has been installed successfully and required no restart. So now let's proceed to take a backup of our server. Again we will go to the Server Manager, Tools, and Windows Server Backup. Now you can see we have an option like Backup schedule backup once or recover so recover we cannot recover it right now because we don't have a previous backup neither we can schedule a backup so what we have to do we have to click on backup once in order to create a backup and of course you have to choose a different option click on next we are not interested in backing up our full server because it will take a time and we want to reduce the time to take a backup of our exchange and that's the reason why we have created a two separate drives for data and logs. So I'll choose the custom and we'll click on next and here we can select the add items so I want to add data, data and log files. So now this is the only exchange we are concerned about only to backup our exchange data so the data volume has been selected and log files has been selected click on next and think like if you have a data exchange data inside your C volume in a default location that means if you have to select this volume and this volume contains many other application program files windows so it can take a time so re to reduce a time for a backup uh, this is a solution like create uh, two separate volumes and keep your exchange data and log file in a different drives. So click on OK. Now we have a data and log files just a, just only the exchange backup and click on advance and in the VSS sec settings click on full VSS backup. Click on OK. Proceed next and now where you want to keep the backup so in my case I want to keep the backup in the same computer and in a drive e volume so let's click on next and backup volume is e volume e drive so click on next so the the backup items are data and log file that is F drive and G drive click on backup now it's creating a shadow copy of volumes and it has initiated a backup. We have 250 or 450 MB of backup so the backup process will be a bit faster. Now you can see the data F drive has been backed up 
by this way you can make your backup process much faster now the backup has been completed successfully so this is a best practice if you want to take a backup of your exchange server in a single server environment and now if you want to schedule a backup you can do that so let's schedule a backup so we will click on backup schedule click on next again the custom next we'll add the items that is F and G drive click on OK VSS setting the full VSS backup click on next now you can schedule a backup and set the time for that you must select the time when the server is free so let's suppose we will select the time like 10 p.m. and click on next and backup to a hard disk that is dedicated for the backup it's recommended so let's click on next and show all available disk so this is a disk like this one is the e drive and I want to take a backup on e drive select the e drive and click on ok and click on next the message says that the entire disk will be dedicated for storing the backup and will not be visible in a file explorer so that is fine so we can click on yes and now the backup items are F and G drive and the location where the backup will be taken is our E drive that is fine and you can click on finish and what it will do it will reformat the disk and it will take a scheduled backup in that E drive so by this way you can create a backup and schedule your backup for your exchange server now the backup schedule has been successfully created and you can click on close I hope you get the point how you can take a backup of your exchange server and how you can schedule a backup for your exchange so guys if you like the video please do subscribe the channel for more upcoming updates and let's meet in the next video